this an episode about a runner, a jumper, a thrower? Is this a trick question? It's about an athlete that performs all of these events. My name's Celia Brooks. I compete in the heptathlon. That's 70 events over two days. We do 100 hurdles, high jump, shot put, 200, long jump, javelin, and 800. This is the science of heptathlon with Talia Brooks. And now we're going to the track, because that's what I do. My name is Dr. Samantha Stuk. I'm a primary care sports medicine physician at HSS. I'm Celia Brooks. I'm originally from Wichita Falls, Texas. I went to the University of Arkansas and I was able to go professional. And I definitely wouldn't be here without my family. They're my support system. The heptathlon is seven events. We do it over two days. First day, we do the 100 hurdles, high jump, chocolate, we run the 200. Come back the next day, and we do the long jump, javelin, and 800. The better you do in each event, the more points you get, and at the end, whoever has the most points wins. Sometimes it's not always about winning the event. It's about what mark can you put up so that you can get X amount of points in that event. Heptathletes and decathletes, a lot of times they are considered the world's greatest athletes because we can do so much with our bodies. We're able to push our bodies in ways that other people might not be able to do. Talia is definitely a special type of athlete. When it comes down to it, what I'm really doing is running, jumping, and throwing. Each different event is calling on all different types of muscles. I would say out of the seven, the 100 hurdles are definitely my best event. I'm hardly ever beat in the 100 hurdles. Talia has to go over 10 hurdles. It's a combination of explosive speed and agility. It's that lead leg. When the lead leg is bent, my toe is up, I can snap back down and I can sprint through the line. I'm not thinking about that. I'm just letting the body kind of do its thing. So the high jump's a fun event. It's actually a fun physics problem. This is my PR. Getting her horizontal energy to convert into an extreme vertical energy. You want to run a J, is what we call it, so that you have energy going this way. Using their quads, their glutes, their core, to then actually land on a planted leg. With your foot here, so that energy can take you up. The J is what's going to take you that way. So that's going to then use the explosion from their gastroc, their soleus, Achilles tendon, which is one of the strongest tendons, to then all of a sudden go from that horizontal motion to that extreme vertical motion. So it's kind of cool when you kind of look at it like, oh gosh, I'm getting my body over this because it's so much taller than me. For the shot put, it's all about power. She has to throw an 8.8 .8 pound ball. In comparison, that's about a gallon of milk as far as she can. Her first bus is about 44 feet, which is truly unbelievable. I like to pretend that I'm Brian Krause. Ah! Boost of energy, so a little confident. I'm thinking about trying to use my legs. I'm trying to hit like here, trying to keep the ball back and trying to really use my hips and turn them forward and keep it up and really push through the ball and make it go far. That's the goal, make it go far. So the 200 meters is a complete anaerobic event. By the time you get to the 200 on the first day, you're taxed, you're a little tired, you've gone through three events. It's a lot of fast twitch muscle fibers. You're running as, just as fast as you can, trying to get your knees up. We also have a little bit of the curve playing into that. Just running. Okay, long jump is the first event on day two. Long jump is a transfer of energy again. You have to convert this horizontal energy to a little bit of horizontal and also vertical. So you have to actually build up that energy and then start kind of timing out your steps to land directly on the board and not foul. I think when you hit that moment where you take off, you're flying through the air, obviously you're not really thinking about much. You're using your core, you're using your arms, your legs are up, you're having to use every part of your body. And then once you land, I think you just realize, first of all, like, I just did that. And that was really cool. She jumps 22 feet. <laughs> it's very far. <laughs> the javelin is different than all other throwing events. 
So the javelin, in my opinion, may be the most technical event out of the seven because it takes your entire body. It's actually more of like a whiplash type of change in momentum off of her takeoff leg, which is gonna be the right leg. For me, a lot of times I can feel it in my shoulder or in my elbow, knees, if you know, do it wrong. But for me, I'm trying to hit this position here when I get ready to throw it. And that can be a lot of pressure on the back leg, on that knee, because you're having to turn it, but also on the front leg and the front knee, because you're running not as fast as you can, but with good speed and you stop. And that's the idea is to stop and then the javelin flies. It's more of a change of force from her hips to her abs and core to her shoulder to her elbow to then finally the javelin to be able to throw as far as it does. The point of no return is once you let that thing go, you gotta keep everything back, keep the shoulders closed. And when you feel that thing fly, like it goes and it throws your entire body. She'll end up throwing the javelin about half the length of a football field, which is quite amazing. I'm trying to hit 40 meters, that's something that I can work with points wise and then set myself up to run the 800. To the 800, that's just a gut check. You feel everything. It's two laps around the track and you have to give it everything you've got. There you go, there you go, whoa! So it's pretty amazing that she's now asked to do what some people consider is the hardest event just in general is now her last event after two full days of seven events. Let's go, Talia! Come on! So the entire thing is a point of no return. It's a combination of aerobic and anaerobic respirations. What? It's basically calling upon every muscle in her body that has any sort of energy left over. Her glycogen stores or her fuel stores are probably near as low as they are, because again, it's the end of two days. There you go. There you go, make the move. You just gotta push through, gut check yourself, heart check yourself, and make it those two laps. Hey, don't act like that. <laughs> To be the world's greatest, I think it takes discipline. It takes a little hard because you have to do things that maybe other people aren't willing to do. Come on, man. Go to work. It's hard. It's hard to come out here every day and die. It's a complete test of her mental strength, her physical strength, using every single muscle, every single tendon in her body at the highest level. <laughs> I think being a heptathlete, you get used to being sore. You get used to something hurting in the body. I joked on Monday and I was like, it's Monday and I'm sore. That's We're starting a new week and I'm still sore from last week. I think she'll probably always be in a little bit of pain as well, but it's whether or not that pain is injury or it's something that she's able to push through to be able to gain momentum from. Be faster. Be faster. Be faster. When you're talking landing on the podium in the Olympics in Paris, it can come down to a single point. You could be 6,500 points in third and 6499 is fourth. For me, the physical part accompanies the mental part, but without both of them, you can't reach the thing. So this year is a really big year for me. The goal is obviously to be in Paris and I know that that's gonna take work. I think now in 2024, like, the confidence in myself is there and the, the belief that I belong in this sport and I belong in this event and I'm just as good if not better than some of y'all out here. That was an honest answer. <laughs> you know, everybody had the picture where they're like, yeah, like that moment. I'm waiting for that moment to happen for me and I can feel that it's, it's in this season. Let's go. You gotta get up.